an air gun with more muscle than a powder burner? You guys ain't gonna wanna miss this one. Alright, this is the Bush Buck 45 and they are exclusive to Air Guns of Arizona. Now if you are unfamiliar, this is a true large game hunting air gun. And when I say large game, I don't mean like beaver and coyote. I mean like mountain lion, black bear, deer, elk, hog, any large game that you can envision in North America. This is a proper tool to hunt and harvest those critters out to like 50 and 100 yards and maybe even beyond. So how does it do that? Well, the bush buck generates over 600 foot-pounds of muzzle energy. So what is that? Well, to put that in perspective, I am ex-law enforcement and the sidearms we'd carry would shoot a 45 ACP, which is a 230 to 240 grain bullet and it would push them 850 to 925 feet per second ish. So a gun like that generates 350, 400, 425 foot pounds. So this far exceeds that. So is an excellent tool for taking large, large game. Now, these are also extraordinarily accurate. I wanna say at Extreme Bentrest in the big bore competition last year, like six or seven out of 10 of those event winners were shooting Bushbuck 45s and they were shooting these guns incredibly accurately out to like 200 yards. And when I say accurate, I mean like one in like two inch groups. That is not me, right? I get, um, when I get a gun to review for you guys, I get to spend a couple of days with it. I learn it somewhat and then I come out here and I make these movies for you. Um, for someone that has gotten extremely proficient with this thing, they do some amazing things today. I'm gonna to shoot the gun for you at 50 yards. I'm gonna shoot it at 100 yards. I'm gonna smack the gel with it at 50. I've gotten pretty good with the gun, so it's gonna give you a pretty good idea of um, what the typical guy or gal, when you first drop this into their hands, is gonna be able to do. Now, to uh, familiarize you a little bit with the gun, it's 39 and a half inches long overall. The barrel is 30 inches long. I believe it is designed for a 452 sized slug. So you'll want to start there probably in the 285 to 500 grain range. That's probably the proper load um, for this gun. This uh, weighs about 12 and a half pounds. As you see it here in the laminate stock with the scope, with the mounts on a full charge of air. The air reservoir is 280 cubic centimeters, which is going to be good for about five shots on low power and two or three good shots on high power. Well, what do we mean by low and high power? Well, this is a bolt action rifle. You just pull it back like so, drop your slug in there. That first stop was low power. We call that low, but that's going to make 385 foot pounds of energy. So like a sidearm, pull it all the way back and now you've got high power and you're going to be in the 620 plus range. At least that's what this gun's been doing for me so far. It can be safely decocked. The trigger is a single stage and it's pretty darn light and I've been fiddling with it a little bit. It's also adjustable. It can be made super, super light, like into the ounces if you want. I haven't put the uh, gauge on here yet, but I think I've probably got it set, you know, three pounds ish, but this is kind of what it looks like just goes off. There's really nothing to it. You put your finger on there, give it a little bit of weight, and that slug is flying down range. Now, this also comes in a walnut if laminate's not your thing. And just looking the gun over, this is a very, very nice looking gun, guys. I mean, it is a hunting gun. It's designed to go out into the woods and the bush and be tough and be and be beaten up, but somebody, somebody obviously put a lot of thought into it. The stippling is really nice. The design is super nice. The fit and finish and details are extraordinary, extraordinarily nice. I'm looking at this uh, weaver rail on top of the receiver. A very well done, all in aluminum. This receiver, by the way, is one piece aircraft grade aluminum, so it should definitely stand up to the test of time. There's an adjustable cheek piece here so that you can get comfortable shouldering the gun. By the way, 
the gun shoulders very well. It balances right about there. So just right about at the end of the stippling for me. And it is very easy to hold steadily on target. Now this sucker kicks like a mule. <laughs> I'm not afraid to say it's been kicking my butt right off of that picnic table for the last couple of days, but um, it's got a nice rubberized squishy butt pad at the end. And um, not too unlike a Magnum Springer shooting a big old pellet, like a 30 grain, or like a, yeah, like a 30 grain pellet. Um, that's how I've gotten my best groups with this gun, just to kind of let it naturally recoil, let it sit in the hand or bag, um, not too tight of a shoulder, and just kind of let it naturally do its uh, thing. It's a lot like the, um, the, uh, <clears throat> the artillery hold, if you're familiar with spring guns. But with that, I am very excited to get into this review, and, um, and here we go. Okay guys, we're going to hit the ballistic gelatin at 50 yards with this Mr. Hollow Point 385 grain. Man, this wind is really kicking. <laughs> that sounded like a damn good hit. Let's go check it out. That is one dead duck, or should I say bear. Penetration, 22 and a half inches. Damn. Whew. Golly, I hope I made enough gelatin to capture this 470 grain. This is also by Mr. Hollow Point. And this is a big, oh, piece of lead. Twig ants. <sighs> Sounded like a good clean hit. I hope it's stuck in there. Each of these gel blocks are 4 liters and 11 pounds, so if you get anywhere even in the neighborhood of a vital, hasta la vista Teddy. Woo! They captured it. Twenty-five and a half inches. Dead, dead, dead. When you shoot the bush buck off a bench, be sure to leave some distance between the scope and your eyebrow, or you're going to be in for a nasty surprise.
Cocking force is significant, but it's also smooth, and lead-in is very nicely finished. On high power, you'll consume about 700 pounds of air with each shot. And at 50 yards, you'll get a good follow-up shot without having to compensate for drop. But in the field, this is probably going to be a charge-and-shoot platform. So to replicate that accuracy, I'm doing the same today. The carbon fiber fill tank you see here is 100 cubic feet, but they're available in smaller backpack friendly sizes as well. The bushbuck uses a single stage, no nonsense hunting trigger. Now brake weight is adjustable, and if you're not careful, you can get that brake weight down to just mere ounces, so please take due care. There's no take up, just a little bit of pressure on the blade, and off she goes. Now on low power, One pound, one ounce, and on high power, one pound, nine ounces. Recharging the Bushbuck's 280 cubic centimeter tank is super easy. Just remove the Foster Fittings dust cover. Take your female foster fitting and connect it to your male. Make sure that it's secure and charge to up to 4400 PSI for high power and up to 3000 for low power. For today's accuracy testing, I recharged to 3800 PSI for each shot, which seemed to be ideal for maximum power. A 4200 PSI fill will get you three good shots averaging 759 feet per second with a 470 grain slug. Power across the three shots will average 587 foot-pounds of energy. Using the low power setting and filling to 3000 PSI, a 240 grain slug will get you five good shots, averaging 778 feet per second. Power across the five will average 323 foot-pounds of energy.
The 385 and 470 have been shooting equally well for me, but I just love the energy this 470 carries long range, so I went with it for the 100 yard groups. If you're going to own this gun, you'll want to experiment with both and others, but I don't know how much it really matters. The Bushbuck's tremendously powerful shooting just about anything, so pick your poison. Learning to shoot the bush buck has challenged my skill set a little bit, but printing an inch and a half at 100 has boosted my confidence some, so out to 150 we go. Yeah, three for three at 150 yards. Not bad. Well, that's all for today, folks. If you liked what you saw here and you want to encourage more videos like it, please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment, and follow us on Facebook for behind the scenes pictures and information leading up to video day. Now, as always, Air Guns of Arizona likes to pass along our review products to one lucky buyer for 10% off and free freight drop shipped straight from here. All you got to do is call them up and let them know you want to buy the actual bush buck Steve used in the making of the video, and they'll get you taken care of. Now, from here, you'll want to head on over to Air Gun Nation Forum so you can follow along in the discussion thread of the bush buck 45. And please don't forget, guys, this video would not have been possible without the support of Air Guns of Arizona. JSB Predator International, Splatterburst Targets, and H&M Pellets. And you guys know the best way to thank them. So with that, I appreciate you watching. I'm Steve Shally, and we'll see you again real soon. Oh my.
<laughs> Holy smokes, man. That was awesome. <laughs> ah.